A defiant Jair Bolsonaro took once again to the streets of Brasilia to greet his supporters in disregard of isolation measures. We are in Brasilia now to join a spontaneous demonstration of the people. For democracy, for freedom. The people who really want Brazil to move forward. Freedom above all else. Ignoring growing calls for impeachment and accusations of interfering in police investigations to protect his sons, he took off his face mask to hug and kiss supporters. The weekend anti-lockdown rallies have become a custom of Bolsonaro's hardcore backers, even as the number of coronavirus cases and deaths has spiraled out of control. Brazil is now the second most affected country in the world, second only to the US. A video of a recent cabinet meeting released by the country's Supreme Court has shocked many Brazilians, as Bolsonaro and his ministers called for the jailing of mayors and governors who imposed lockdowns in the country against the president's will and seemed uninterested in the surge of the pandemic. Now, in another blow to Bolsonaro, his ally, U.S. President Donald Trump, announced a ban for travelers from Brazil. Brazil, it's, it's, it's a really polarized country in this exact moment. And President Jair Bolsonaro likes to, to explain for every, everyone that he's, he has a kind of uh, special relationship with President Trump. So any kind of measure made by the U.S. government in terms of a travel ban can be a, a problem in terms of the narrative of Jair Bolsonaro. But specifically, uh, we have a, a huge number, a, a lot of emotion in the political debate here. And probably uh, President Bolsonaro is, you maintain a kind of a negative uh, narrative about the coronavirus crisis here. As the number of infections keeps rising, health services are increasingly under strain across the country, with some doctors asking to take politics out of the response to the pandemic. We have to let the people that are supposed to make the decisions make the right decisions for us to cope with this disease, with the spreading of the disease. I think it should not be a political issue. It should not be a government issue. I mean, just the Ministry of Health issue. But this perfect storm of a health crisis coupled with an increasingly bitter political fight appears to leave little hope for improvement as the virus keeps hitting with little force. Alessandro Ampietti, Al Jazeera.